In order to solve this, logs can be used, but I'm going to do it without logs. And what I do is I look at both bases, and I try to make them both have the same base. Well, can't you turn this into 6 squared? So watch this. Won't this be 6 squared to the 7x minus 5 equals 6 to the 9 minus x? Now you might be like, well, how'd that help? Watch this. When you power a power, don't you multiply these two. When you power a power, you've got to go back to your properties, and what's going to happen is you're going to distribute that 2 to both pieces. So you now have 6 to the 14x minus 10 equals 6 to the 9 minus x. So now, since they both have the same base, to make this equal to this, aren't the powers going to have to be equal? So all I'm going to do now is set my powers equal, which is 14x minus 10 is equal to 9 minus x, and I'm simply going to solve this equation. Once I solve it, I am done. So I'm going to add the x over. That gives me 15x minus 10 equals 9. I'm going to add the 10 over. That gives me... 15x equals 19, and I divide by 15, that gives me x equals 19 over 15, and that would be the answer. Now, could you plug this in to this and this and see if they're equal on a calculator? Could you also graph this and graph this and see if they cross <laughs> at that number, <laughs> which is 1 and 4 fifteenths? Yeah, there are different ways to solve it, too. You could also log both sides and try to approach it that way, which would work. It's just I'm not going to go that way. Good luck. If I were to solve this, you could make it a log, but you'll find making it into a log kind of confuses it. Makes it complicated, weird. So I'm going to solve this by trying to make them into exponents with the same base. What I'm going to do first is... I'm going to change this to 81 to the negative first to the x equals 27. That then becomes 81 to the negative x equals 27. Because don't you multiply the powers. Now, I have 81 and 27. Now I'm looking for a base that both have in common. So what goes into both? 3. So hopefully you can see this is 3 to the 4th to the negative x equals 3 to the 3rd, which is 3 to the negative 4x equals 3 to the 3rd. Again, don't you multiply powers like we did up here? Now, are the bases the same? Yeah. So can I just simply solve when is negative 4x equal to 3? Isn't that what we're looking for? When are the powers equal, since the bases are the same? So I divide by negative 4. And I get x equals negative 3 fourths. Now, could you check that by simply putting negative 3 fourths in? And if you crunch it on your calculator, it should come out 27. And your calculator can crunch that for you. Good luck.